Okay, we're sitting at Diamond 3, 1 LP. We need 300 LP to get Master. So, let's go. Golden Symphony Item Payout Loot Subscription. Also known as Hall of the Nine from the previous set. Let's go for a loot subscription. Try to get some pretty good items. Gold, tomes. I'm not sure if the tables are the same as the previous sets, but I'm just assuming it is. I don't see why they would change it. Maybe the gold is a little bit less, but I feel like the portal is pretty much exactly the same. And it looks like we get it. So let's see what our 2-1 loot subscription is. We can get our 6 gold immediately. And a component. It's possible for this to be a 5 component start. Bruiser Kench. I'll pick this up if I don't get additional gold. But if I get three three extra gold here, I'm just gonna make ten. Oh, um That's fine. Let's pick this guy up. We will play this for the early game. I think since I got dropped gold, I'm going to get dropped additional gold here. I could sell and make 20 here because I'm going to get dropped their extra gold. The thing is, I kind of want to keep these two units that are upgrades now. We have 10 gold already. So we're going to be down components here. This is a full gold opener. But honestly, that's that's fine with me. Oh, two components start. Never mind. I just got my gold early. Alright, that, that works. Too big to fail. I could play that for 4 Bruiser. It's really good frontline for the late game, and I could just play any backline units. I think that sounds pretty good. Frigate Flyer, no. Infusion, no. Okay, too big to fail. And we get a spat. What can I play here? I mean, four Bruiser here. Very strong opener here. But, yeah, I'm gonna... Let's see what I could do with this bat later. I could probably just make true damage or something. But right now, we just have this four Bruiser front line. Two Star Kench. Very, very good opener here. So the headliner I'm going to ideally play around is Bruiser Zack, because we have this Bruiser Augment here. But we will pick up other stuff, if possible. I just sold the Superfan units, I don't think we're playing Superfan because we have 4 Bruiser in. We'll probably just hold on to Heartsteel or something. We replace this, play sets, maybe 3 Heartsteel or something. Kaisa is the next in here. I saw this not me. If I don't win. See everyone else. Score quest. Pretty pretty strong board. Bulk. Caretakers. Hero. Grab bag. Virtue of the Martyr. Bulk. Rich get richer. Okay, so it seems like me and this person have a very strong board. I think theirs is a little bit better. Plus, I'm also level 4. Yeah, this uh, too big to fail thing, you basically want to play 6 Bruiser, make a lot of your tank in the late game, and then just play other splash units, backline units, whatever you hit. This Hall of the Nine thing, or this loose subscription thing, can also drop another spatula. So I'm not in any rush to actually use it right now. So we'll see what we hit. Disco. Okay, so it's looking unlikely we're gonna play Heart Steel now. So I'll probably just sell Yone if I win the fight. Because with this Bruiser thing, I'm probably just gonna push one streak. 
And even if we don't win, we can save HP. Also, how did this person lose? I wasn't I wasn't watching, but that doesn't seem normal. We'll just sell Yone. And I wanna play this Kaisa next turn because it's good to to have more backliners here. Actually what I think I'm gonna do is sell this. Maybe pick this part up. I was considering selling this Olaf here and pre-leveling. But I think I value the Olaf pair, so I was sit. I changed my mind. So the escort quest is winning. If there's a spatula off carousel here, that is very good for the person who gets it. Okay, there's no spat. That's good. Um, here I'll probably just go for cloak for dragon's claw. If you're playing around bruisers, they love dragon's claw. It's a very AP heavy meta at the moment as well. Sticking cloak here is very good. Cloak is usually not a contested item either, so it's pretty easy to get. And we also get a Kaisa pair, we can maybe get Kaisa 2 for the early, early game here. Let's see. We get a Misfortune as well. Let's just play this for right now. And sell this. Let's make a D-Claw. Um, let's put Kench on this side. Same side as Corgi. We can also play this for 2 8-bits next level. Their board seem, seems pretty good. With the Stomp Kench having more HP as well from D Claw. It's pretty good. 2400 HP. So 40% max HP when they die. That's about. That's a thousand damage. That is crazy. This is Olaf. Let's see, this is about 400 damage. Yeah. <laughs> Seems pretty good. Set. Okay, do I value this Kaisa pair over this Misfortune? Because the thing is, I can find Jazz later. I don't have to play it right now. This is a, this is a Kaisa pair. Or do I just not care about 8 bits? This is also a Garen pair. I don't know, Kaisa 2 is pretty good. But... I kind of want to keep this Misfortune in two. Choices. Okay, this person's board is one star, we're, we're gonna be fine. Plus when the Bruisers die, they're just gonna explode. So this Gragas here. 400 something damage. Yup. After you calculate resistances and all that. Okay, I think I'm just gonna sell... I'm just gonna sell Garen. I mean, I think 8-bit is good, but I don't think we need it, because Garen's a frontline unit, so we already have a really good frontline. Our next in is probably just... another big shot or something. Could play 6 Bruiser, but we need to hit Zack for that. Or if we somehow get dropped a tome from this loot subscription. Let's got everyone else. Mosher. Looks like Disco. Probably Pentakill. Shrew damage also low. 8 bits. Country, Katarina. I don't think they're actually playing Cat. And then looks like Econing. A rod. Don't need those two champions. Right, let's just make 50. We are giga rich right now. Oh, nice. Just play another backliner. Okay. Three backliners, three frontliners, four bruiser, 46 gold. 
Um, if we win, I'll just sell this all off. I kind of did want to hit two star all off though. But yeah, here <laughs> heart steel. I do have three hearts still. I could slam it if I want. But I'm probably not gonna do that. Of course, all here we could go for warmogs. We can go for redemption because we're playing bruisers. Very good item on targets that have a high HP. This guy says two is so just gonna be a lot of damage. Tom Kench is very tanky. We're just gonna deal with these guys. I don't know, I don't know how to feel about this augment. This thing feels a little too good. Maybe they need to nerf it down to 35 or something. Tiny Titans. Vampirism, healing orbs. It's not Tiny Titans, we're 100 HP. Best Friends 2 is actually not even bad here. Because bruisers get to armor. The thing is, it looks like people are playing AP in this lobby though. Vampirism is probably the best option here. Healing Orbs is okay. But I'm not a fan of Healing Orbs one. Let's just take Vampirism. Also hit a Viego. Just scale the next three people we can fight here. Or Bruiser, three big shots. Yeah, let's position like this. And that is two star echo. That's a little scary. Also, this person. If, if this was my board, I would slam Adaptive Helm here on this Lulu. I think a lot. Of, what a lot of people don't understand is Shojin and Adaptive Helm are basically the same in power on most units you put it on. They don't want to slam Adaptive Helm though because. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure they would have won this if they slammed, slammed the depth of helm. That's how good the item is. But is this stronger? 79 AD. Well, you have to get the the AD. No, that that that, that does not seem stronger. I don't think I'm playing around Viego. Just sell. Yeah, okay, we're chilling this fight as well. Unless Nami somehow ramps up. But I think we should be okay. We don't have anti heal, but. We have three big shot champions. Or maybe Disco's just way too broken, who knows. Too big to. F or not too big to. Uh. Yeah, too big to fail. Do you got me? You have me? I mean, Corky has anti-heal though. Okay, never mind. This augment is just way too broken. Alright, I have to I have to make up my mind on what's broken and what's not. If there's a Zac, I'll gladly take it. That is a spatula. This person already has a tactician's crown. What can we uh, what else can we do here? We can make Warmogs. We can make IE. We can make Red Buff. Let's make Red Buff. It's also a Misfortune pair. I'll probably just play around Big Shots. Big Shot Bruiser. And then just splash in Jazz. And I think that's just our board. Oh, two star Misfortune. Normally, I would play a Lulu here. But since we have too big to fail, I think it's actually this. Let's make red buff. Also, another reason why I took Vampirism is just because you get extra health, which makes this too big to fail even better. So, try to take augments that stack up with each other. Since we already have anti heal, we don't have to make Morello anymore. This will probably just be Crown Guard. And then we'll start making. Offensive items. And also, if we don't hit anything for Spatula, it's completely fine. I don't even care about it. We might be down a Spatula item, but... 
I prefer not to get baited by Spatula, I'm not gonna use. Okay, this Akali is uh, being very silly here. Do we win because of too big to fail? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if we continue winning, I could just shoot straight to level 9 if I want. This will be replacement Kench for later. So when you play 6 Bruiser, you don't have to play Olaf or Kench. I mean, I guess I'll just play whichever one is 2-star. I think they're both equally bad in the late game. But, yeah. Okay. Versus slammed an 8-bit emblem. They also rolled a lot of gold. I think they're trying to force a ribbon here. 6, 8-bit ribbon. 3 sorry also well with Edge of Knights, but no damage items. I think we should be fine. Is Edge of Knight already procced? Yeah, we're good. If we get a tome from loot subscription, we get a bruiser emblem. That is just completely illegal. As real. I mean, we just we're just naturaling all of our units. That's good to know. I mean, if, as long as I continue winning fights, I actually don't even have to roll in level 8. I could just shoot straight to level 9. I think it's too greedy to go straight to level 9 though. So we'll roll for a Zack or something. Tier, Redemption, Crown Guard, 2 star, 2 star Gragas, another belt. 2 star, okay. This game seems a little bit too good. I mean, we we have loot subscription giving us a lot of gold. I think we just go straight to level 9. We're not losing fights. We still have this bruiser front line. If this lobby was strong, I would roll here, but it seems like we'll be okay. So let's make Warmog's Crown Guard Redemption. Okay, we don't have any backline items except for red buff, but that's okay. If we get offered something like... What's the Agua called? The Infinity Edge one. Is this mine or his? It's, I mean, it's theirs. Uh, the Overwhelming Force, that's what it's called. Four Big Shot, four Bruiser. Beautiful traits. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But... We're not we're not losing, so we'll go straight to level nine. It's smarter. It's just smarter. Oh, heavy hitters too. It's just smarter though. Bruisers have so much HP. Turn on investment's not bad either. It's just smarter. Yeah. I mean, you have my bow is also pretty decent there. Keep pumping, go to level 9. Find Zack or something. Maybe if we get super lucky, we'll hit Alawi. But, yeah, this is just our board. We could also do this, I guess, because this is stage 4. Cash out on 4 5. I should have been scouting for this Akali, but we're on the correct side, just by coincidence. It's also one star, I don't think it's that bad. Although I still think my backline is just gonna die. Martyr. No, not enough. Oh wait, maybe? Okay, Martyr's broken. This this game feels very... not allowed. Bruiser set. I mean, yeah, you just take it. Okay, forget about Hearthsteel. Let's pick this up. 
Undermise this silly little guy here. Can also play 6 Bruiser if we find Zack. Actually, I could just stick with this set for the rest of the game. Because we could also potentially just hit 3 star set. This is, um... <laughs> yeah. If you get offered this augment, you get a Bruiser Star, you can just do something like this. Play 4 Bruiser in the early game, play some backline. It could be big shots, it could be rapid fires, it could be dazzlers, pretty much anything. And you just have you ha your board has damage because when your front line dies, it just they just explode and do damage. And it becomes even better if you have stuff like Shred. So if you build an Ionic Spark or something, or a Shiv, it becomes even better. Alright, off carousel here, we're gonna go for sword or bow. We're just gonna make giant slayer or something. Ideally, I want infinity edge. But I'm not gonna really be that picky with my items here. I mean, I want this spat, but probably not gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> when everyone in the lobby gets a free spat, spat always gets taken first. Also take Zack here, just play six bruiser. Sure. We can make this tier into probably blue buff. Play Ezreal or something. Okay, it's time for six bruiser, right? Let's do this. 5,000 HP set, 50% is 2,500, or like 2,700 pretty much, 2,800, and then 40%, so that's 2,400 damage, somewhere around there. Just from one unit here. I mean, that's an Akali. I don't know if they're going to swap sides though. Okay, we're on correct side because she's going to hit the misfortune. Once again, it's only one star. I'm pretty sure our bruisers can clean up. If this is two star Kali, I'd be worried. Oh, they do have Ascension though. Okay, can set clean up here. He has a he has crown guard, so he has damage. And then maybe the other set explodes. That's damage. Or is our Mr. 100 over? No, our Mr. 100. Okay, rest in peace. Maybe it wasn't 6 Bruiser here. I don't know. Is, is this better? Because if you do this, this is... How much more HP is that? 1200? Yeah, I actually think it was... I think 6 Bruiser is correct. I just lost because of Akali. Let's see here, 6 true damage, 2 item Yasuo, looks like KDA, that's a kill, 6 8 bit. Yeah, I'm not scared of this because this is a 1 star survey. We have red buff for anti heal for this Viego, and even if we do lose, I'm, I'm sure we'll be fine. We won't lose by that much. Another Kali player. Yeah, I'm gonna play, I'm, I'm really gonna look for a Lawi at level 9 here. Too many Akali players in the lobby. Okay, rest in peace, Corky. There goes our anti-heal. Misfortune is still alive. Okay, <laughs> we barely win here. Do you even play Thresh in this comp? I don't think you do. Because you have 6 Bruiser. If you get a Bruiser emblem, you can you play it, so I'm gonna hold on to it. Because it's entirely possible we get dropped a uh, Tome here. From this portal. Go level 9 after this. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stick with this set. I don't have to roll. The only time I'll sell it is if I hit Headliner Alawi, but that's very unlikely. Six Bruiser, two Big Shot, Jazz, some League. Splash in Sona. Sona or Jazz. 
big gold. That stuff just started rolling. Just a little bit. This is better. I mean, I don't want to play Jazz because I'm playing Vertical Bruiser. I don't care about Kiana. Blue buff. Do I even play Ziggs on my board? The thing is, I... Maybe I could just go down to 4 Bruiser. 4 Bruiser and just play 2 Jazz or something. Hyper Pop, Spellweaver. I need to roll more next turn. So I, I still need to find a Lowey. I didn't roll enough. Drop these two. I'm still playing double set, that's a big. I could I could do this. Oh bruiser. Yeah, never mind. I'll, I'll just take this. Pain. Alright. This should work for now. At level 10 we'll just play six bruiser. I mean, if this was Jazz, I would craft it, but it's not Jazz anymore. Okay, so forget about this. So my next in, I'll probably just drop... Sonar or something. Play 6 Bruiser. That's just our board. 2-star Jin instead of... Misfortune. Drop Jazz. Yeah, I'll fix my board. Let's just go low 10. I mean, I guess I could do this. I think this is actually a little bit better. 7% bonus HP, 5% bonus damage. The thing is, the 7% bonus HP is actually very good on these bruisers here. Love this scout for a Kali players. There's one Akali player, so let's do this. Alright. So let's go level 10. So probably level 10. Drop Misfortune. Play Jin. Put in Sono. Drop Bard and then just play Kane. I don't think I care about Dazzler. I think that's our board. So, we'll play Kane, drop this, put this forge in. Let's just our level 10 board. Item here, Deathblade. Take the Ziggs. Wait, Giant Star is also good, but Deathblade's fine. Take the Deathblade for the Ziggs. Let's see where our stage 6 loot subscription is. So no two star. And the thing is, we can do this, but is that even stronger? I don't think it is. See, so we lose two jazz. Yeah, that's kind of a lot of HP. There's an Akali player. We have the position two Akali, three Akali players. Great. So we'll just do this. Now we can start itemizing Ziggs or Jin. <laughs> this uh, this act is very tanky. Also, very very good items. Yeah, I'm really glad I took Martyr here. This guy heals pretty much 600 HP every single. Type of procs. Just pretty gross. 
Head top four. Global Town, cap out the board. So, yeah, I don't think I care about Jazz. Just play this, our endgame board. Because I think I value having to surge in a little bit more. And then we'll just play Sona or something. But we could sell Ezreal too, just play Jin. The problem is, I think Ezreal is a little bit better right now than Jin against Akali players. Because Ezreal could actually escape from Akali's, but Jin can't. It's hard to tell. Our I think our tanks clean up here. Zack is very tanky. Hopefully this Kali doesn't have it. that much Omni Vamp. Zack. That was a <laughs> pretty funny fight. Two star Alawi, two star Sky. I don't think we're fighting any Akali players for a while. No Akali. 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 I mean, I guess I don't have to play Ezreal dead. I could, I could keep Jazz on the board then if I saw Ezreal. Play Jin instead. Heart still is real. Tome? Oh, Tactician's Crown. Okay, I, okay now, now I can fit Jazz. Okay, cool. Okay, well, we'll next turn. I.E. Guardbreaker. I'm gonna eye my Ziggs. Also, there's an Akali player. It's only one star, but I still want to position properly. I don't want my backline dying for no reason. We have Vampirism, we have Martyr. Our backline could just heal up. Also, the more HP we lose, the stronger we get because of Vampirism. Also, anyone who slammed a Tactician's Crown earlier gets no benefit from the special now. Okay, let's level. Oh, two star Alawi. Alright, we take this. Double Alawi. <laughs> Three star Alawi. Two star Sona. Okay, forget about Kane. Three star Alawi. Is it time? Okay, I should have paid attention a little bit more. We're not playing against Akali. But we have two. Two Alawis on the board. I feel like even if our backline dies, we just win because our bruisers just clean up. Okay, this was just a, a positioning mistake because of the tentacles. Okay, I wasn't paying attention, that's my bad. I was too busy, was too busy focused on the, all the other stuff. Big shot, Jin. No, I lose six reserve. I do that. Okay, so to beat this, just position like a normal person. Okay, all good. We will play to Surge in if we find it over this Ezreal and just keep finding Ziggs items. We're good to go. That was a really big Crown Guard shield, by the way. Yeah, okay, move the two tentacles up. Really big difference in this fight. Okay, this one, we just position better. 
Unless they fought a ghost. No Alawi. Take Death Cap. Take Shojin. Both are really good. Take Shojin. Mono Generation. If I had adaptive help with this guy, I would take Death Cap instead of Shoja. It's a Weaver Sona. I mean, still gonna try to play 2 star Jin if possible. Two-star Jin is definitely better than Ezreal, it's just that against Akali, it kinda struggles. Sometimes, it depends. When you have when you have a Laoi, it's actually fine to play Jin. Jin is just very he, he suffers a lot against Akali executioners right now. Yeah, Ezreal died somehow. We have Martyr, we have Vampirism. Of... We're fine. Okay, there's two started in. Just middle Jin. Play this. Mosher York. Okay, I don't think three star allow is happening. This version also hit 6 8 bit the high score, but this is the last round. They only have 5 seconds to roll. Okay, well, we. Let's hope we win this round because if not, they're gonna win the game. Yeah, that was close call. 6-8 bits, but we won before they could get their cash out. Okay, well that's too big to fail, Vampirism, Martyr. GG. So yeah, if you get offered this augment in the early game, too big to fail, and you have some pretty decent items from the front line, then I would definitely take this augment. It's really good for having a front line, your board also doesn't like damage as long as you keep playing bruisers and then you basically can run over the enemy team early game push a win streak like that tempo get a good board level 8 to level 9 so yeah gg